All right, so topic five is install WordPress step by step. So to begin with, we will go ahead and book a domain name. Now, uh, you remember in my topic on domain and hosting, I did mention how to check if a domain name is available. We'll complete that step over here when we search for a domain called freewptutorials.com. So that's a domain which I will go ahead and purchase. Now, yes, as you would have realized, the free WP, free WordPress tutorials. Once this course is complete, I will have this course put up over there and it will be free forever. So I'll maintain this particular website only for this particular tutorial and maybe have few forums where people can actually send across their request in terms of any kind of WordPress issue. So this website is going to be purely for that. It'll have a lot of other tutorials also, articles on WordPress and plugins and all kind of stuff related to WordPress. So I will go ahead and book that domain. Then as you would have seen in my previous, in the list which I've actually mentioned, the top hosting service providers, like I've said, my highly recommended hosting service provider is SiteGround. I've been using SiteGround for a very long time. I think since 2004, 2005, I've been using it. All my websites, I've got at least about seven to eight websites, which I'm actually hosting on SiteGround. The clients who I actually handle and consult for all those clients, I also have recommended SiteGround and they're all using SiteGround. And I would continue to recommend SiteGround. So to all of you who are clicking on my link for SiteGround and going ahead and purchasing it through my link, please send me the receipt once you have completed the purchase. What I will do is I will send you a couple of courses completely free of cost. Maybe what I'll do is my affiliate marketing course and my uh, there's another course which is actually coming up also on digital marketing. That's right, a complete course on you can get a certification on digital marketing. I will give you that particular course completely free of cost. So go ahead and register using that particular link. It's my affiliate link. And once you've purchased, send me the, the receipt and I will give you the courses free of cost. So once we go ahead and complete buying the domain name and then the hosting as well, then we will set up WordPress using the WordPress auto installer. So to the first step is basically going ahead and checking if our domain name is actually available, for which I will go to a website called namechecker.com. All right, so this is the website called namechecker.com. Now, why I use this is, yes, there are plenty of other domain registrars where you can go in and check if a particular domain name is available or not. Now, a simple reason I use this is that, as you can see below, there are a number of other icons that you actually see. So once you do check if your domain is available, it also tells you whether that corresponding, whether it is a Facebook page or a Twitter account or your YouTube channel or your Tumblr, Pinterest, all these other platforms, if that particular handle is available over there as well. Now, this is how I actually go ahead and build my brand what i typically do is i go ahead and check for a particular name and i like to maintain the same handle and same name across all the other platforms because then what happens is if i was to go ahead and tell you that yes you can follow me at bloggers bloom and then you ask me on which platform i will tell you all my platform whether it is my website or the facebook page or the twitter instagram pinterest or wherever it is i will just tell you go ahead and follow bloggers bloom that's all what i have to say so this tool actually helps me do just that. So this is my domain, which I'm actually searching for the free WP tutorials. So I will go ahead and click on search. So once I click on search, see there, you immediately got the options available. My Twitter handle is not available. I guess someone else has already taken it, but nevertheless, my .com is available, my Facebook page is available. If I do want to go ahead and buy a .net as well, that is available. Even the .org, your Spotify, your Dribble, Twitch, Slack, Tumblr, YouTube, all these are actually available. So this helps me now understand, okay, if my domain is available, I can go ahead and purchase it. So now, like I said, go ahead and click on the SiteGround link, which is there. And this is where you will land up to. 
now like i said i all the various uh, prerequisites i mentioned while going ahead and selecting a hosting service provider this ticks all those boxes and i cannot but emphasize on how great the customer service for this particular platform for this particular hosting service provider is i've like i've said at different hours of the day whether it is early morning late night i log in it's about maybe a couple of minutes i'm immediately in touch with a customer service executive they respond whether the tr most trivial of issue or the most complex issues and they've solved it for me so hands down i will always be going ahead with siteground now like i said we are going ahead and going to be building a wordpress website so if you scroll a little down you get to see the various kind of packages that are actually available either you go ahead for a simple web hosting you go for a managed wordpress hosting if you're going ahead and building an e-commerce website you go ahead with the woocommerce hosting then the cloud hosting of, of course there are a couple of tools and why and how good siteground is i mean you could check this out for your reference but trust you me this is probably one of the best hosting service providers and probably don't go only by my word what we can do is we can go to the wordpress.org website as well and under wordpress.org it gives you a couple of hosting service provider options as well so click on hosting you will get to see the three hosting service providers that wordpress themselves recommend one is bluehost the other is dreamhost and siteground now i'll give you the links of all these which is anyway there in the list which i have provided but nevertheless you can actually see the options wordpress gives you now you've got something like a cdn now i will tell you why exactly cdn is also important if you go over to your wordpress into your let's select the wordpress hosting plan once we select on this you you will come across three options available over here now these prices have recently been hyped up it started at about 399 the 4 599 plan and the i think this was the 699 or the 1099 plan so they have hyped up their prices because their services have really gone up as well so they're packing more services also so that few additional dollars yes is does make a difference but nevertheless if you really want peace of mind and that your website is doing perfectly fine like i've been reiterating go ahead with the siteground option now you can see what all siteground gives you free free wordpress installation free wordpress migrator tool the wordpress auto updates free ssl which i did mention to you about daily backups the free cdn now see cdn is the content delivery network typically means that your customers are across the globe and if they were accessing a server which is a remote server and it takes time for the content to get delivered these do create delays in your web website eventually getting loaded so you do know that one if it is that that takes time to load there are customers who do not like waiting and then if, it, if your page doesn't load they immediately close it all these affects your rankings at the end of the day the bounce rate so all these small small factors really make a huge difference in the overall picture so cdn is available you get a free email unlimited databases your Back, back up everything is actually included now yes if you go in for the next system the, the next plans of course you have some of these on demand backup copies uh, speed boosting cache caching the staging all these options are actually available so now for the sake of this particular example i will go ahead with the startup plan i already have the grow big and the go geek plan where i'm hosting my websites and my clients website so since i'm going to be hosting only one website over here i will go ahead with the startup plan again you can decide whichever plan you want to go for like i've been saying this particular plan gives me one website option the grow big has the unlimited website option plus 20 gb of web space with a 25000 on visits monthly now these obviously there's a jack up on this as well unlimited 40 gb 100000 uh, visits monthly these options have been upgraded for obviously as you go up the plan you get higher options as well so even though they have said unlimited websites like i've also said previously in your shared hosting it's always recommended don't pack it up with so many websites have maybe about six to seven websites at the most 
because like i said one website creates any issue it affects all your other websites as well so don't have more than about at the most i would really not even push it to 10 but max would be about 10 websites that you can actually have in spite of them actually saying unlimited websites so let's go ahead with the startup plan once i click on the startup plan the first option which will say is to choose to register a new domain or if you already have a domain so you select the i already have a domain if you have already purchased your domain elsewhere let's say for example i have a domain name on i purchased my domain name on godaddy or in namecheap i have not bought the hosting over there i will go ahead and buy the hosting with siteground so in such cases you go ahead and say that i already own a domain now in my case i don't have the domain i am going to be purchasing it over here so i will go ahead and paste my domain name which is basically free wordpress tutorials.com so yes the domain name registration cost will be there of about close to 16 dollars per year and i will click on proceed now once you click on proceed yes we of course know that this domain is available you go ahead and fill this information i will fill this in as well enter the credit card details so you don't see the credit card details and but nevertheless what i would like to bring your attention to is this particular section of the purchase information yes you you can go in for either a 24 month or 36 month we will go ahead i am going ahead with a 12 month package and in which your hosting is about 699 which we saw the next thing is these extra services yes i am going with domain registration if you are buying the domain here as well so this is going to be common these next two options now i hope you remember when i spoke about the domain name what is the who is record the who is look up that basically your information being displayed and out in the public so you can go ahead and check this this is about 12 dollars per year so that your information is not shown across out in the open now the next one is basically sg site scanner you needn't go for this it is completely your choice at the end of the day if you want to go for it or not i am not going for it for me what's most important basically the domain the privacy set settings which i would like to have so because of which i'm going into this and of course my domain plus the rest of the information you can just go ahead and key it in and once you key it in agree to these terms pay now and i'll meet you on the next screen after that all right so catch you up in the next screen all right so once i've keyed in the credit card details and clicked on pay now i've got this your account was successfully created so once you get the screen let's go ahead and click on proceed to the customer area now once you click on customer area you're basically getting into your site ground dashboard your site ground dashboard now it will show you that you are is also been booked all right so welcome tarik here's a fresh installation of wordpress and you can proceed with whatever you'd like to go ahead with so now let's say i'm going to click on click on this particular option of setup site so i click on setup website now you it's a very simple process like i said you don't have to be a really tech savvy person no linux no apache and all those so you can just follow the steps over here and you can have your website ready now you've got two options over here either start a new website or you can migrate an existing website like i even told you during the domain and hosting uh the prerequisites for the hosting service provider that you should have a hosting service provider which allows you for very easy migration of your existing website so at this point of time i do not have an existing website so i do not have need to select the option of migrate website i will select of start a new website and the moment i click on start a new website you then have these options of choosing the application that you actually want whether you want a wordpress website which is yes what we will be going ahead with second is basically if you want to create an e-commerce website that is the wordpress plus woocommerce plugin that is another option another site builder is basically you are called the weebly that is another option if you want to go ahead with next if you want to select the others like if you like i mentioned you have these um the content management system cms such as joomla magento all these are the other tools which are actually available so you could select your option from here as well now for this example we are going ahead with wordpress so because of which i will click on wordpress now 
this is an area which i really would like you all to be very clear about and be sure about because what email id and password you enter here is your login credentials for your wordpress dashboard the wordpress wp admin that later on what i will explain so please key in and please remember this username this email id and password so i will go ahead and create have my email id set up as the same thing for my bloggers bloom so tarik at bloggers bloom dot com i will have bloggers bloom dot com and i will create a password for myself all right so you can either create one or you can generate a password as well the choice is completely yours i have gone ahead and created one and i will click on continue now this again if you want the site scanner or the domain privacy i'm just saying no i don't want any of this and click on finish now this is where the wordpress auto installer is being run and is creating your wordpress website you remember we have selected the wordpress option so hence you this particular tool is creating the auto i mean using the auto installer the wordpress auto installer and creating your website this is why i said your entire support is all being taken care of initially i did mention about having a wordpress your i mean whether you want to really you have the option of the free options which i said the free hosting and the free domains which are actually available they don't give you these kind of options and even the wordpress.com yes it sets it up completely but you have your hosting service providers today who give you this option so you don't have to really worry about downloading the wordpress.org software then installing it then running through the setup procedure none of those headache is there see in less than 2 minutes your website is already ready now all you have to do is go ahead and click on your manage site or you can visit your website and it is completely ready now note this i will copy and keep this separate for the time being now you can see this it is basically your dns settings i told you about those dns setting the name server changes which you have to do in case your domain is run somewhere now let's say you have run this entire process and your domain is lying elsewhere maybe on a godaddy.com so how do you tell godaddy godaddy please connect to my hosting over here that is done by including this so what i will do right now is i'll go ahead and just copy this and i will paste it in my notepad file for the time being over here and we will make use of this a little later on when we get into the name server changes how to change the name server we'll get into that so for the time being your website with your domain free wp tutorials have been created so let's just copy this domain and let's just have a look at how our website is currently appearing and there it is loading and there you go your wordpress has been installed you can see this is not secure that because your ssl has not been set currently we will get into all those but for the time being congratulations your domain has you purchased the domain we have checked if the domain is available what is it naming i'll include all the links again after this chapter where you can have all these the name checker.com and the site ground all those links will be included so currently we have gone ahead check the domain name and name checker our domain is actually available so is some of the other platforms we have gone ahead checked the domain i mean rather booked the domain using siteground and gone ahead installed wordpress and right now our wordpress website is completely ready now we don't need the control panel from here on because everything else is going to be on our wordpress dashboard so in the next topic what i will be doing is i will go ahead and do some general settings that we must do and then after that we will get into the dns settings changes as well so for the time being well done we have got our website ready now is basically now starts the main journey of building up a website and building a successful online presence so catch you up in the next topic thanks a lot